Hey, hello everyone and welcome to a tutorial on a fully automated wheat farm that produces over a thousand wheat an hour uh, using bone meal and a villager. We've got two indicator lights, one for showing whether there's enough bone meal in the system and one for showing uh, if the farm is up and running. Um, there is a double chest uh, that's gonna fill up with weed as soon as the double chest is full the farm will automatically shut off and obviously we've got our mineral override to shut the farm off if we want to uh, with a lever. The only downside of this farm is that when the farm is working it creates a lot of noise so I would suggest building it either somewhere underground or um, somewhere away from where you're living. These are the items you're gonna need for this build and next to these items you're also gonna need a farmer villager. Now the profession of the farmer villager doesn't really matter, um, they're all just as efficient. I've got a fisherman here, uh, he'll do just fine. For those who like to build this on a layer by layer base, I will do a quick flyover. We'll start off by making an item filter for the collection chest. Then we'll make the overflow protection and control switch. And we'll add the clock that activates the whole system. Next up we'll make the hopper minecart collection system. Then we're going to place our soil, our water and we'll add in the ladders. We'll put our bone meal dispenser and seed dropper in place. We'll place our indicator lights and connect them. And we'll finish up the redstone to connect the dispensers, droppers and power drills. And we'll add a few more blocks to keep some entities in place. We'll put the villager in place. And we'll fill up his inventory with 8 stacks of seeds. soil into farmland, fill out the top chest with bone meal and we're all set to activate the farm. 
And as you can see, our villager turns out to be a hardworking farmer. Also, he's got plenty of seeds supplied by the dropper underneath that, which will also let some item flow on top of that half slab. Those items will despawn. That's just to make sure that the system won't overflow with seeds. And now you can decorate the whole scene with whatever you like. That was it for this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, make sure to leave a like. If you want to see more tutorials, then make sure to subscribe. And if you have any suggestions or comments, then please leave them in the comments below. See you later and have a good one.